What's up, everybody? It's Professor Vet. Hey, I'm back. What? Yeah, yeah, no, you're all good, man. You can leave now. Oh, I can step out? Yep. Oh, all right. See ya. What's going on, everybody? It is I, the actual Vast, in the building now. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. Well, today, we got a review on AC Unity 10 years later for you guys today. But before we get into that, I am required by the state to show you guys an educational video on how the Enmus works and all that, yada, yada, yada. If I don't do it, I'll get fired. Let's get it. In the 1950s, it was theorized that human DNA worked via the triple helix model. Can you believe that 10 years ago, Assassin's Creed Unity came out? And I gotta say, it's aged pretty well. I'm taking this opportunity, among many others, to go back and play this game after all this time and see how it is today. Now, when this game first came out, it got a bad rep, let's be honest. Holy fish paste! Due to its insane glitches and bugs and what have you. But honestly, I was hoping my game would bug out like that, because I thought that would be pretty funny. And it didn't disappoint. I mean, in the very first cutscene, we got some classic in-engine cutscene buggery. And it's funny how now, this game don't look that bad, because people see it as the good old days. Right out the gate, we experienced the tragedy of Jack... 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 Jack is the... This dude. And we play as his companion who he tasked to protect the Sword of Eden. Or, I'm guessing. A book to go along with it. I, and this, I honestly don't even know what this book is. Uh, I don't even remember them talking about these two items at all until the end of the game. But the whole segment pretty much just ends with this guy getting mugged. Hello? And then this dude getting burned by a guy that looks like Lord Farquaad. <laughs> Unity is pretty much a murder mystery type game that follows Arno and his lovely companion, Elise. Which I gotta say is pretty dope considering she is a Templar. Yeah, a Templar. I don't know of any other game that did this, but they literally have a romantic relationship between an assassin and a Templar, which I found to be very cool and interesting, especially considering they didn't just make it like, hey, let's work together. Nah, nah. They actually work together because they have a common goal, revenge. At the beginning of the game, we see Arno's dad get killed by a Templar, that was Shay, and he's an assassin, which lays the foundation for Arno joining the assassins later on. And this man, De La Serre, takes him under his wing, and he is the father of Elise. And years later, he gets killed by Templars, and Arno and Elise work together because they want to avenge him. And to me personally, this was a really awesome concept seeing an assassin and a Templar work side by side. I mean, tell me one other AC game when you saw an assassin and a Templar voluntarily go with each other into the assassin hideout together. Go ahead, I'll wait. And throughout the story, they grow the relationship that includes a lot of chasing. She always did love the chase. And they solve the clues together and meet interesting characters to point the arrows to who's responsible. By the way, since I'm on the topic of characters, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with how realistic these characters are. I mean, they literally make me feel like some of these folks actually existed, you know what I'm saying? Alright, obviously I know Napoleon is a real person, but Arno, at least, they got personality. I enjoyed how they made you feel like part of the creed with the assassin hideout and all the people in it, reporting to them, getting sent on on missions, and seeing you become part of the creed was very interesting. And they actually like had like an initiation and all that. I mean, shoot, I can easily see how and why this game is still looked upon so greatly after all this time. I mean, it still looks as good as the games that came out recently, in my opinion. I also really enjoy the segments when you got to see France in different time periods due to like the glitches in the Animus, and you could see the Eiffel Tower and the Statue of Liberty since it was made in France, and you got to play in World War II Paris for a little bit, which I'm pretty sure is the most recent we've ever played as an assassin, even if it was for that one moment. And I know we saw an assassin at the end of Syndicate, which I think is awesome too, just like modern day assassin, by the way. And they do an amazing job immersing you in the French Revolution. And oh boy, was this a crazy time to be living in. I mean, this was a time when you could see a dude get off in broad ass daylight and nobody cared. I mean, literally nobody. You might even hear a random gunshot get fired off out of nowhere. And if you go to the right place, you can literally see a kidnapping, a gang war, and people dancing on the same street. I mean, these folks were wilding out and these guys still ain't learned no dance experience since my last video. Are they supposed to be dancing together? And check out these insane crowds. I mean, dude, for 10 years ago on a PS4, this is extremely well done, bro. I mean, how'd they manage to pull this off without the PS4 running like this? Fuck this shit blows my mind and it further enhances the immersion and makes it feel very lively and they did a good job matching the atmosphere i mean it looks like what people would be doing at this time fighting cooking 
and prostitutes. By the way, the nighttime vibes are just as you would expect as well. Late night street performers, date nights, and... Yo, someone please help this woman. I'm not entirely sure if she's being held against her will or not. Blink twice if you need help. And this is real crazy. During the game, you meet this guy, Marquise de Sade or something French. I don't know. Please forgive me if I mess that up. And... and, and... What? Oh, what the fuck is going on? What? Bro, I'm telling you, this revolution got these people out of their minds. At least, please don't let Arno chase you up in this drive because if he catches you, <laughs> it ain't gonna go down the way you think. I mean, from what I know of the French Revolution, I'd say they match the atmosphere pretty well. What do you mean by that? I mean, I'm, I mean, I wasn't there. Guys, I seriously was not there, trust me. Blink twice if you need help. Now y'all know I gotta talk about the combat. I think it's pretty safe to say that this game has got some of, if not the best combat in the series. For real, when I get into combat, it feels like this. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love AC Origins. I mean, it's literally my channel logo, but I gotta say, compared to this, I don't know what happened down the line where they got this. I mean, what even is this stick figure combat? It feels so stiff. All right, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. But like I said, I love Origins, but I'm trying to make a statement on how much better the combat is in this game. And speaking of the gameplay, I think the parkour is the best we've seen in the series. So fluid and smooth, they outdid themselves with this one. And I enjoy the other gameplay stuff like last location, different avenues of killing your target. I gotta apologize for this one though. I'm an old fashioned kind of guy. I'm the kind of guy that likes to be looking at you dead in the eye. I I'm just joking. I just be running right up to these folks and tice them up real quick and get up out of there. I mean, to me, this is what a thousand hours of basic unity looks like. Quick, clean, like a true assassin. <laughs> But with the combat though, they should have kept it like this. It is literally so much fun, and much more fun than some of the other games. And I enjoy the variety of weapons and stuff that they offer to fight with, which is actually a perfect segue into my next topic, customization. The customization in this game is definitely amazing. Like, they must have started development on For Honor when they were making this game or something, and decided to blend the customization aspect of that game onto this. Cause holy smokes, I really liked how many options they had to make your character look different and unique. Especially considering the multiplayer aspect, cause you get to show it off. Now me personally, I was digging the OG outfit. I feel like that looks so assassin-y, and I like it a lot, so I stuck with that and changed the colors. But I love the option to do stuff like this, and it definitely makes the experience so much more fun. And like I said with the weapons, I enjoyed being able to slice someone up with a sword or chop them into wooden planks with an axe. And by the way, the axe does so much damage, I highly recommend it. And also, the introduction of the Phantom Blade was definitely a step up. That was really cool to see an advancement in the assassin tactics. I remember seeing this in the trailers when this game was coming out and being like, <gasps> really cool stuff. And yeah, coming back to what I was saying earlier, the story, although hard to keep up with that sometimes, also considering I had to turn on subtitles because I couldn't understand the French accent, Bruh. the story was very cool to see. You get to see plot twists like Belek being in on killing the assassin leader because he doesn't believe there could be peace between them and the Templars. I mean, there could have been if you just didn't intervene, but... <laughs> and narrow the killers down to Jermaine, who is pretty much the Emperor. Good. Who, as a last resort, grabs the Sword of Eden that they didn't talk about throughout the game after the beginning for some reason. I mean, not that I remember, at least. You get to see Arno reach his lowest point after the Creed accuses him of defying the Creed and chasing his own vendettas and using his skills that he's acquired to steal wine. Which, by the way, was like the hardest mission for me for some reason. <laughs> Like, this is easily way harder than it needs to be. All I'm trying to do is just steal some wine, and there's, like, freaking 80 guys here. And then this freaking... St he's drunk out of his mind. This stuff just barely works, man. They make it very important that you level up your character and gain more skills, because doing this stuff with a two-star level ain't fun. Also, my biggest question from this game is, how in the world did Arno rejoin the assassins, and why was he able to keep his gear, too? That didn't make much sense to me. I mean, they literally gave this guy the boot, and at the end of the game, he's a master assassin. And so he must have went back to them at some point throughout the years that passed, and that must have been some apology. So, the son of Charles Dorian returns to us. What changed your mind? I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. 
And why did they kill Elise, man? Like, come on. That's some real bullshit. It didn't need to happen. But yeah, overall, I think Unity is one of the best in the series. And despite the glitchiness, which I think is what helps make this game, not gonna lie, I feel like that's what helps further establish it as one of its own. I know you, you're probably gonna get flamed for that, but I don't know. It's like, I just feel like that's one of the staples of this game, you know? It's like, it's one of the things it's notorious for. And I am glad that I replayed it after all these years. And oh, I can't believe I almost forgot to mention online. I mean, I did mention online, but I forgot to elaborate on it. Dude, I mean, like, dude, why is this the only AC with online? I feel like that even further captured the essence of being an assassin. I mean, there ain't just one guy out there doing all the work. They seriously need to bring that back for real. And on the last video, I tried to join online and found nobody after waiting for like 15 minutes, but that was on Xbox. This time I was on PS4 and actually managed to find somebody. What's up? The front entrance is pretty heavily guarded. <laughs> well, uh, I guess that was online. No, I'm just joking. Don't worry. I found someone else. And it was so much fun playing alongside somebody. It truly feels like an assassin creed. You know, a brother... I just got a notification. An assassin brotherhood. And I probably had a little too much fun. What? Yeah! Yeah! What? Let's get him. Nice. Hold him up! Wah! Wah! Bro, I love this. Yup! Wah! Go, 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 go! What the heck is going on down here? What the heck is going on right here? Y'all couldn't have found another place to do that at. We gotta go now, Evmar! We gotta go now! Wah! Wah! Yeah! Woo! Ah! 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 Yeah! Wah! Yeah! But yeah, AC Unity, A plus in my books. I mean, I'm not super critical on games. I think this game is awesome. Shoot, seriously. This game is uh, this game is awesome. <laughs> and we need more like it. Seriously. And wait, hang on a second. I've watched this video by Master Assassin, the one where he like sees how far he can go without getting spotted. And he pointed out something very interesting. And I never thought of it this way until I watched this video. At least and Arno are in a relationship, right? Yeah. Let's remember that that Arno is Elisa's adopted brother. Keeping it in the family, I guess. I'm stuck. Step six. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Yo, don't be surprised if the history books found the man Marquise's joint at some point in time. <laughs> Freaky dicky. <laughs> chase each other <laughs> oh my days but yeah thank you all so much for attending my class today i hope you all enjoyed the video and you all have a blessed day and be sure to do your homework y'all losing me y'all losing me man okay okay guys wait come back <laughs>